2015 Mastercraft X30. This is a recent trade-in. Really pretty boat. It's in awesome condition. Uh, low hours with uh, 208 hours on the MV8. Uh, MV8, I think is what the engine is. We'll check it out in a second. Um, it's a six liter. I can't remember if that's the MV8 or the MV6. We'll, we'll see when we open up the hatch. But again, 208 hours on this X30. Sits in a black main stripe and hall bottom. Has a uh, blue metal flake secondary. And then a white accent stripe here with a white interior deck. It's got the factory Mastercraft tower. It's a manual fold, has a factory bimini top. And of course, the rotating clamping Mastercraft board racks. Sits on a tandem axle factory trailer, has 18 inch uh, chrome wheels. Actually, those are brushed wheels with a matching spare. But just a really sharp looking package. And again, it's in great condition uh, with, with low hours, like I said. Um, walking around the exterior, the gel coat looks really nice, but was always kept on a lift. Uh, cos for cosmetic blemishes, we do have a light scrape on that Mastercraft badge on this side and the Chromax lettering. Um, but as we come down this side, there's really not much to point out. Metal flake all looks really nice on this side. So we come around to the back. Mastercraft, since they kind of have this sloped transom, they'll always put this kind of uh, protection film on it because uh, people drop boards or whatever, and uh, that can scratch the back. So when you look through the protection film, the blue inside and outside the protection film is slightly different not that the transom's faded it just looks a little different it's always i don't know just wanted to point that out so you can kind of see that here in the video um back of the platform has gator step on it the gator steps in good shape it is uh pulled up just ever so slightly on the edge on both sides this boat is equipped with the I believe it's the Gen 2 surf system. It doesn't say whether or not it is or which one it is. Um, I believe these are big enough tabs to uh, be the Gen 2 surf system. Dual exhausts. Trailer has transom straps on it as well. Prop and rudder down under look great. The transom of the boat's in awesome condition. Probably no scratches or dings that are worth pointing out. You might see it, some stuff like this on the rub rail here and there. As we walk around the port side, a tiny little scuff right here. But the metal flake's great. Our Chromax lettering looks awesome here. Little, little bitty scuff there. And then same thing with right here, but I don't know, nothing I considered to be worth re replacing all the Chromax for, just little tiny stuff. The black looks awesome. The hall bottom looks great. This boat was always kept on a lift, like I said, and uh, it's generally covered. It has a tower down, a brand new tower down cover. As we come around to the bow here, the only thing that I found in the metal flake, it's like a little bubble here in the metal flake. I don't know if right there you can see it. It's not a scratch. It's not a dent. This looks like a factory imperfection to me. Um, but there's just a slight bubble there in the metal flake. So that's pretty much it. Let's walk around, have Mastercraft branded pop-up pleats, billet grab handles, you'll see that all through the interior. Our nav lights are on either side of the bow there. Just a really clean, sharp boat.
Let's jump inside. Set the camera down. We do have a tow point here on the rear grab handle, and then it does have a Fusion transom remote. Nice walk through into the interior. We can go through the color scheme. So we have a, our main vinyl is kind of this off-white textured vinyl that you see on the back. The back sun pad has black, which I believe is a cool touch. The cool touch kind of has this different texture to it. So you can kind of see that here. There's a little scuff right there on the sun pad. But overall, the interior in this thing looks amazing. As we walk into the main seating area, it pulls in the blue on uh, the seat boxing. It does have blue piping on these seats here, uh, but just a nice clean interior. It has decadence flooring with the Mastercraft logos on it. Up top, we got JL, four JL 7.7 .7 tower speakers. Um, there's a rotating tow point here. If you have a GoPro camera, that you can clip that thing in there. And the tower is super easy to fold. It collapses backwards. Let's step inside. Open up our storage compartments here. It does have upgraded ballast bags. That one probably needs to be pulled back a little bit from when we detailed it. There's our new cover. Then there's the upgraded bags. Those are piggybacked on top of the hard tanks below. And here we go. Ilmore MV8. It was the MV8. But it's six liter, got about 400 horsepower. It's freshly serviced. Uh, we did impellers, or impeller rather, uh, fluids and filters. So oil filter, fuel filter. There it is, 207. Just did it this past week. So that's our motor. Plenty of power for the X30. We've got gunnel traction on here as well. There's a slight peel up on that corner, but this side looks good. Inlaid seating in either corner, which is pretty comfy to sit in. The cushions on this boat are really thick and cushy, which is nice. Our back center seat kind of has the classic flip around seat from Mastercraft for transom viewing. It's a little bit of an imprint from uh, the underside rests on these cup holders. So you see that imprint on the seats there. You don't know that there's much you can really do about that. So that is there and I want to point it out for sure. Um, if we open up here, there's a spot where you can drop a cooler in. Maybe, I think this might even be a trash can that you can drop in there, but um, storage otherwise. There is a heater outlet, so this boat does have the heater. Um, there's a couple outlets throughout the boat. You've got one over there, and then there's another right here. So a couple different heater vents in the boat. Um, let's open up here. There is a filler cushion that goes with it. And there's the Bimini boot um, and some nice deep storage underneath the seats here. Underneath our back corner is where we get to our battery switch. It's a dual battery setup on this boat. Bimini's in great shape. Uh, stereo wise, it's all JL. You've got a 10 inch JL sub kind of hidden back behind the driver's seat. And then we have one, two, three, four interior speakers, and the tweeters up on the dash, plus the four speakers up top. Opening up the love seat, there's where our batteries are held, as well as our amps and our ski pylons. This boat does have the ski pylon that goes with it. And you have access to this storage compartment through the bow as well. Let's pop over to the dash real quick. Um, Kind of have our analog switches for our heater, nav lights, interior lights. Got these nice backlit analog gauges on the dash. 
bilge aft and forward blower. And then down here we have the uh, um, touch screen for a bunch of different functions in the boat. You can run your stereo. You've got ballast fill and drain here. You can roll up uh, your vitals so you, or you can see 208 hours on the clock right now. Air, water temp, speed. You know, you can toggle your speed control off and on on this here. Uh, it doesn't have the camera option. No maps. And you can set some rider profiles. So you have surf left, surf right, all the different presets that you can go through. Wakeboard mode, so on and so forth. Make adjustments to your cruise control. It is Gen 2 surf system, by the way. I thought it was, but I wasn't 100% sure. Um, and then you also have some analog switches for your surf system, your center trim tab, fill and drain for your ballast, and your ignition switches over here as well. So um, it's kind of a backup for about everything in terms of uh, what's on the screen. Fusion head, or, uh, head unit remote over here. Nice big driver's seat, super comfy. Bolsters if you need it. Billet glove box, we open that. And our full-on Fusion head unit is in there. As you can see, it's set to Bluetooth right now, which I would imagine most people are using. Got some charging ports in there. Slam that shut when you're done. Open up to the bow. Do you have a PTM mirror? And heading up into the front, we have storage under the seats. Got anchor storage right here. Whatever you want to use that for. Actually, this would be better for your anchor storage. So that pops all the way out. You got a great spot for your anchor. This thing just kind of clips in like so. And then, blah, let me open this up. More storage on this side. As I said, all the vinyl on the boat looks really good. Everything's in awesome shape. Clean boat. Open up, you got the air dam right there as well. And lastly, we'll get up close on this flooring, but that's your decadence floor. Just kind of sits down. Um, it's nice and grippy, it's soft on your feet, and it doesn't hold water. So that's pretty much it on this X30. We've got uh, this here in our shop, obviously. If you have any questions, call or text us at 317-845-9253. Visit us at n3boatworks.com or hop on into the shop to check out this beautiful Mastercraft X30. Thanks for watching.